So you're on the fastest network and you still haven't talked about the changes on BrickLink. Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to BrickZar. Um, yeah, I haven't talked about the variant changes much on this channel. We have talked about it on the AFOOL podcast and we will be talking about it on the next AFOOL podcast from the time that this video posts. If you're watching this video in 2025, we've already, you're, you're too late. But uh, this is going to be a haul from Barn Bricks, uh, who... I went there, it was one of the stores I went to to get the parts I needed to finish up my James Mathis Santa Fe B unit to go with my Santa Fe train. So I needed a few parts. Unfortunately, I one of the other order orders I placed before the one from Barn Bricks hasn't come yet. <laughs> so I don't have, I won't have all the parts to finish this yet. I will have some of them. So that's what's going to be in here. Plus, I, I, I went and bought other things while I was there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so they're, they're in February, which is next month, <laughs> they're going to be ch doing some changes to BrickLink. Uh, I have gotten so many messages, and I, I know this is a little late, even from the time those messages came out. They had so many people wanting me to talk about this. So, uh, like I said, we'll talk about it on the A Full podcast. And I may, as we get closer to D Day, the 15th of February, I may talk a little more about it. Uh, just say, we determined that it's not as bad as some think, and <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> so, uh, and I am one that I do want period correct parts. So, I yeah, I could get into all of that again, but um, yeah, check out the A Fool podcast, uh, first episode that posts in February. We'll be talking about that. All right, so let's get and see what I got from Barn Bricks. Uh, this is the Gagillionaire shirt. This is a shirt I got for free. From the phone company, but this is not sponsored by the phone company. I do work for the phone company, so just that's full disclosure there. Um, and I pay for my home internet. So over there in the corner behind the don't hug me, I'm scared people, uh, is that Schmidt and Company. I found the door. I was going looking through another part, and I happened to find the red door. I had a couple of them that weren't broken. Even though... <laughs> There's something else that'll probably be in an upcoming haul because I did order more of the doors. <laughs> but as it goes, it's like I order so many things that I already have because I can't find them. Anyway, let's see what we got. And now there will be things in here I already have. But again, the main reason I went to Barn Brick Store on Brick Link was to get the a few of the parts to finish up the um, what you call Barn Bricks. Uh, Santa Fe Super Chief. So this bag here appears to have... Oh, look at that. There's a headlight brick. Um, that is a super... Oh, man, it's not focusing. That was an ultra-rare brick. So in the last Barn Bricks haul, I got this Lego brick, which was only in one set. It's actually the same set as this. So apparently he had most of the parts, <laughs> the rare parts, to the 349... It's one of those like six, it's like a six pack of, uh, not beer, a six pack of cars um, or construction vehicles or something. I think it's construction vehicles, but that, that you know, normally these are cr chrome. So like the headlight brick for the uh, tipper truck, but this is black and is only in that set like that. And then this piece here is in James Mathis mock for the Santa Fe. So I got that got a couple of them the the tiles these are all dark gray i mean dark gray light old i mean to say old old gray um the um grills and the bars i needed those and then there's some uh gray tiles there where did i need those all right so <laughs> those are extra apparently um, I was looking at my order. I didn't. He added those to my order. And then this is a this is a little bit more expensive piece, but it is also in James Mathis mock of the B unit. Now again, James Mathis is the one who designed the Santa Fe, and so I had put alternate parts like that. Um, that computer piece is supposed to go there instead of that one, I think. And then this piece here. That slope was supposed to be the more expensive one. It looks like it's from Mtron or some kind of space set. But yeah, I 
you're never going to see it once so I, I used alternates but i'm going to put the ones that he actually used in his mock now since the barn bricks had those so thanks for throwing in those one by eight tiles by the way um Another thing I got that I've already got, and it's one of those things I'll, I'll say, I think I've done a video on it, but uh, who knows? Uh, maybe I'll need to go through all of the train sets <laughs> and see if I've done videos. But this is, uh, I, one of the things I like, and these things always fall off, these little buffers. Uh, but if you watch Trains Are Fun, my tra train channel, is I drop the piece on the floor. Um, one of the things I say is that I like tank cars. I'm a kind of a tank car enthusiast. So this is a really ugly tank car from the 70s. It's the set 136, the shell tanker. Yes, Lego did branded stuff even back in the 70s. So I already have this set, but I'm like, there's a shell refinery. So it'd be nice to have more than one vintage tank car. Now there are other tank cars obviously that lego made this one's kind of boxy but yeah i just thought i'd get an extra since he had that in his store at a very good price but uh there's the vintage instructions for that it came it came fully assembled <laughs> all right i also got some straight rails you never can have too many um oh my Hey, there's the doors. <laughs> it's funny, I just said, oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh, he put the taxi instructions in here too. Oh, so the, I just did a video about the taxi. So he messaged me, and of course, I mentioned this in the video with the, the taxis, is that, and this, this works out because I have two of the taxis, so might as well have two sets of instructions, but... I um, had already, per the, the haul I did recently with the three vintage sets that included the taxi with the box, I ordered that before I ever posted the video that, saying that I needed these instructions. But he included these, and I really appreciate it. Um, that's, that's awesome. And this is even more, look at this. Oh my goodness that <laughs> so some of the like this has uh this piece here has that on it and the one on this side the sticker came off i actually got it in a bag so now when i go through and look at my santa fe i can check to see um if i got all my stickers but getting the different numbers that's pretty interesting so that's amazing thank you for sending that and he sent me the doors and so recently y'all know i've been we're talking about you know it's funny that i talked about the variants i had no idea deal this was going to be in here it's the uh i didn't i didn't have to look and i knew what these would be they're the closed studs so i've placed several orders and i've been getting the open studs i did a little rant in my pablo video because i have the open i have thousand open stud ones in my store so I don't need to buy an open set. These are all closed stud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because uh, it's you never know when you're going to need them when you're piecing together a vintage set and the doors. Um, I have so many of these that are broken. So I did find one of the ones I had ordered previously. But I want to thank Barn Bricks, Keith, for sending that as well. We got a train guy. Every uh, train needs a train guy. Is that one of the ones that came from the Santa Fe train? Huh. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> so I can have an engineer, uh, a conductor, I guess that's the engineer, to put in the B unit of my Santa Fe train. So thank you so much. Okay, I did, he, he drew a smiley face on the back. <laughs> All right. And then... <laughs> 890 didn't see this on my brick set and it's not and i definitely don't have the box so uh, this is something that uh was featured on bricking news i do believe i, I think this is one of those things that jason had uh, the wind up yellow motor in fact the, the 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 set 912 that i bought from tammy 
has the yellow motor motorized one, but this is the wind-up one. So it is definitely something I did not own. Look at that. Comes with the keys and the both both of the wheels. So you got one. Two, four. Okay, so the one wheel is attached, I think, and then that's separate, and then two of the vintage keys. That is beautiful. Wait a minute. It's not sealed, is it? No, it's not sealed. I was about to say. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, though. Quality right there. Yellow was the color. This is 19, what, 81 is what it says on the box. 1981 there. Wind-up motor. Can you make a wind-up? It's a dump truck that almost looks like a tipper truck for a minute there. I was like, what? What? <laughs> A duck, a truck, and I don't know what. The boat of car. <laughs> that is the boat of car. The inspiration for the 1983 or 80, 85 song. <laughs> I took my boat for a car. I took that car for a drive. So I was trying to get somewhere, but now I'm following the traces of your fingernails. That go across the windshield on the boat of car. On the boat of car. On the boat of car. Not Antoine Carr. Anyway, thank you so much, uh, Keith from Barn Bricks. Uh, great vintage store, and thanks for the extra things you've thrown in there. And we will definitely, unless I die, we will. Be doing a video with the full Santa Fe Chief with the B unit added. So I've, it's one of my proudest moments in YouTube. Uh, the the I, I, I did train videos a lot, and I did the one with the Santa Fe, and I had it running around the living room upstairs, and it did pretty well for video, but. It got uh, a comment from Leo Kim video, one of the OG U YouTubers, one of the people we look up to in our neck of the woods here. Um, don't have a rubber chicken to throw, even though he sent me one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, getting Leo Kim to comment on one of my early videos that was pretty special. But yeah, we'll be doing the having that B unit done as soon as I get. I got one more Bricklink order. I'm waiting. It's coming from California, so. Uh, it should be here in a few days, um, and then we'll have this thing finished, thanks to Barn Bricks and that other order. And maybe we'll do something with the wind-up motor. Maybe I should build the boat of car, or the wind-up duck, or the wind-up chipper truck. It's a dump truck, but it's got the yellow. It just makes me think of the <laughs> chipper truck. I'm going to go get rid of this shirt till next year. See ya.